I am having one of those days where you wake up and you just don't wake up, but I have absolutely nothing to do with this Gyalfer at this point. I have videos already planned out, but I'm kind of running out, so I, I think I have to 6-6 six, six him just to get a video out. I'm not even kidding. This character is so limiting by being only really usable in one category that I I have to 6-6 six, six him just so I can have an extra video out because or else I'm just gonna be out of videos. It's really, uh, it's really that unfortunate. But you know, it is what it is. That's how they designed the character. Uh, what day is it? Today's Saturday. I have planned already what I'm gonna talk about in my video on Jerusalem for Gaffer. It's like, it's really difficult these days especially to be 100% sure on, you know, oh yeah, this is definitely a skip. Especially considering, you know, yeah, Gaffer right now, he doesn't look, uh, honestly, like, he is probably what currently makes Sins potentially the best team in the game, but, but, <laughs> not only that is honestly not that crazy of an improvement over a uh, Green King, you kind of, uh, you kind of have like a, a an expiration date, I feel like, still. I have the feeling that once anniversary drops, that will not be the case anymore. The end. We don't, we can't see the rate, by the way, on this. So for all we know, it's a 0.1% chance of the SSR guarantee here being the actual UR character. I haven't seen anyone pulling from it, but maybe, maybe people have. I personally have not. Before, I swear, before you could click on this SSR thing and check the rate, but because it was all equal, right? Even the new character. But now you can't really. In any case, I I am not opposed to summoning this banner because I actually do have an extra character I could use. Hell, I can't foresee being meta for a little while. At the very least, until we get like a major new unknown character. Like she's definitely usable. Like right now, if you run Gelda. Hell and Albedo. That's a pretty good team, especially in geared. But if I'm gonna run Galda anyways, I feel like I I, I want to run Demons. I don't want to run. I don't want to run Hell. I mean, I don't want to run Hell anyways. But like, <laughs> if I'm gonna run Hell, it has to be the best team, you know. If I'm already making another DM, if I'm already making myself run that character that I despise, I might as well be running because it's the best team in the game. Right. If it's not, then I don't see the point. In any case, Galfrey does not help him there because he kind of sucks for unknown. He, re he no, he doesn't kind of suck. He really sucks for unknown. He's not. He he's made entirely just for sins, which is unfortunate. I think that they easily could have included in his passive unknowns, not just be only sins because only sins is so limiting. You see, every character that has, every festival that has released since Bond tries to be inclusive of other categories so that they're not as narrowed in to just one team. And, uh, hell, okay, she is 5-6 now. But I guess for Galford, they were like, we don't care. Like, no, one, no one's gonna care about this festival anyways. Like, this shouldn't even be a festival. <laughs> Like, this banner is just shoved in, I guess, because, I mean, Origin is supposedly coming out this year. I mean, I've seen conflicting reports, but if we are to believe anyone saying that it might come out this year, so Grand Cross kind of has an expiration date, you know? I can't imagine, for at the very least, the... F first couple of months of Origin, them giving any attention to Grand Cross. It will definitely be, uh... Because <laughs> already, the team working on Origin, for what they've said, they literally said this, is majority people that were working on Grand Cross that got moved on. So, I can only assume 
it will get worse. Oh, 6-6 six, six health. Okay. Ooh, now that I have health 6-6, six, six, do I care about getting Gal for 6-6? Six, six? Because now it's, I'm only summoning for Gal for as you guys can see. <sighs> Zero, I, three rotate, oh! I'm skipping as it can be asked, but... Okay. Yeah. This will be my third rotation on this banner, and I've only pulled one so far. So... You know. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. Can I get one last multi? Ask her animation. 3 DNs. More rotation. But no gaffer. You know what? I'm pivoting. I'm not 6 6ing him. This is not even that good of a character. Like, legit, like, this character is so. Eh. <laughs> he shouldn't even be a festival. He has passive of a normal banner character. He just. They just made him a festival because I guess they wanted more money. I don't know. Alright, it's like seven hours later, I'm more awake now. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to actually use this team right here. I've been seeing people run. I I don't like it because oh I, I I do hate when a part of someone's kit doesn't work and Marlin's damage reduction does not do anything in here. But hey, it is different because no bond. It's more like damage focused because there's no bond passive, but and no damage reduction for Merlin as well. But we are gonna have the actual basic stats for, basic stats from Gaffer, and we're gonna have King Shield. See, this guy is using it. Right the way, boom, first match. I see someone using it. Uh, ooh, I really wish I could double AoE with Mali, but no. We're gonna have to use this right here. Uh, boom, boom, boom. We kind of have to do the triple race attack that. <laughs> I don't think that sounded very good, but... <laughs> the triple race attack. I mean, that was pretty good, they killed the king. With the triple race attack. And now we got the, the gaffer rank up because we did the triple race attack. And uh, that, that, that's the... I guess that's the idea here. Because king gives us the shield. Mali's first turn attack is like that much stronger. I don't know how much stronger, really. And also in a way... Oh, well, how about we uh, rank up Galfer? I mean, level 3 rank up and then level 3 finale, huh? Oh, and also the attack really is stats from King, huh? When the our shield breaks? Yeah, that's a much, much more damage-based team. This is gonna hit pretty hard. Yeah, in ungeared, that's pretty crazy. I will say this, you do lose in some CC. So that's not... That's not epic. But... That's it. That's my whole observation. You do lose in some CC. Which... Right now, with this team, you know, Galfer... King, I guess, but you know, the Sins team in general. That is what you're going for, you're going for that go- You know, I'm going first angle you're not really accepting going second or you lost so maybe i think swapping merlin would be nice but then we are missing stats because at this point i guess i can check melee for the shield doesn't break i should have checked first but if you have uh gaffer passive king shield which has the relic that gives stats as well didn't work nice you have a ton of stats. 327k HP. I mean, the HP doesn't matter because as soon as the shield breaks, we're going to lose some. But with the, the buff, we got 33,000 attack. Let's do this. Oh, I did use the melee AoE, huh? Maybe I should start using the melee single target. On the first turn. It's just the melee AoE spreading the... I want to say debuffs, but you know, it's the gray... The gray circle for Melly's passive. I think 
it works better. Ah, not quite. It is a pretty high damage team, for sure. But if you don't go first, you lose. Which I guess it's the Sins team right now is that if you don't go first, you lose. All right, this is what we got that uh, <laughs> that summoning for four six Gaffer. Slightly more stats. 5% basic stats, so one could say it was 900 gems worth it. Oh, we got a unknown. Ooh. Yeah, this one we definitely go for the uh, the single targets, huh? Let's do this. Only one debuff, and we kind of have to attack because we want to get the the passive. That's still pretty good damage, not gonna lie. Almost breaks the shield, but not quite. I think we'll be good. Tear shouldn't kill King here. Right? Ow, King. Oh. See, I was really excited to replace King. Because <laughs> he's not a festival unit. Like, yeah, the, the basis of the character is technically a festival, but you guys know what I mean. Like, he is not a festival, you know? Man. Melee with no attack buff, huh? Surely we could see, right? I'm a little uncertain. I never doubted. Melee with no attack buff, more like... Kill tier. Oh, I thought... That's the... <clears throat> that's the wrong guy for me. <laughs> oh, that's a guaranteed kill. This is the this is the uh, the girlfriend that should have become an LR, but didn't. This should have been what this gaffer is. But you know, I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules, but I, I do wish, I do wish that was the case. I'm not gonna lie. This would have been much cheaper for me. Is uh, three rotations only pu pulled one of this festival gaffer? Not ideal. I would have uh, quite preferred already having a six six gaffer. Okay. And cup, get all that cleanse. Oh, we buff our HP as well. Not having bond on the team feels odd, but it's kind of nice in a way, because then the enemy melee can't cleanse and give himself defense related stats. And we are done. Let's uh, let's get our winning lap here. Definitely doing the single target, because I probably kill Gelda by doing it. Yep. I mean, when that works out, it's pretty good. But now how do I kill how do I kill DK? See, it's the thing, I don't I'm still a little cold on this whole I have to use a rank up thing. You know? Like I I am objective when I need to be. I think Alfred and I'm being brave saying this is pretty good. But still not a big fan of using a whole t a whole card as a rank up because especially facing specific characters it can be kind of annoying in specific fights the gaffer versus demonic beast video is not done yet but i've already played a few using a turn <laughs> to rank up is not ideal almost always you know whatever 
Did we finish off if Gaffer get his winning screen? Let's see. Uh, melee single target. Don't kill. It's melee without the buff, what am I saying? Gaffer's not gonna kill either, like it's too far. Never mind. Gaffer has the only ult gauge removal single target that, that does damage on level 1, like actually. 